about a month ago, I presented on the channel a new phone system. That it's new for us. It's not new for the marketplace, but it's new for us. And uh, Just Call was the system that we presented. Lots of people started to use Just Call, and therefore we got some questions of how to send automatic SMS using Just Call. So in this session, I invited Just Call to show us step-by-step -step how to create those workflows so you can do it by yourself and you won't need to be a hostage of any developer doing it for you. So in this session, uh, we have uh, Patik and Sandy. Both of them are from Just Call. Good morning, guys. How are you today? Good morning, Leon. Good morning. Hi. Nice, nice to have you here. So can you, can you show us how can we have a workflow to send an automatic SMS from CRM wow. using Just Call? Uh, I'll pick a very normal use case, you know, when a new lead is added into the system, you want to send them a text message. That's a very basic thing you may want to do. Obviously, you can add levels of complexity, you can add more filters, but I'll pick a very, a very usual use case, you know, as soon as new lead is added into the Zoho system, mm -hmm. you want to drop them a text message. That's something right. almost everyone will look forward to. That's so all right. you have to do is go to rules section in your uh, Zoho account and uh, create a new rule for it. Uh, so I'll create a, I have created a rule called uh, general follow-up. I call it general because it is very generic in nature. Uh, the whole condition I have created is to, the rule is simply when a lead is created, it fires as soon as a lead is added into the system. But as I said, you know, one can have multiple uh, criteria which are met uh, for this SMS to go out, but let's use a very simple roll call when a lead just, is just, created. Just, just stay with me, Patik, just, just a second. So please click beside created, click on the pencil. I just want to tell the viewers what they can do with it. So they won't think it's only limited to, to uh, creating a lead. So in the workflows on the left side, you will have different type of uh, uh, different type of uh, actions, uh, when, sorry. And as you can mm -hmm. see right now, by default, it's uh, based on creation, but you can mm -hmm. also automate this workflow based on create, based on record that is edited, let's say a lead that was edited, or if it that was is. deleted. Now on the top right, right, you will see that it's also on daytime or score. Mm -hmm. So you have more options. You are not limited only if the lead is created. You have more options to play with those automations. Correct. On the bottom, and you will have the, just, just a second, my yeah. friend. On the bottom, mm -hmm. you will see that you have the conditions and the conditions will be if you like to restrict this SMS to a specific mm -hmm. case. As an example, let's say that your mm -hmm. company is getting leads from different channels. Channel number one will be for iPhones. The other one will be for cameras. Based mm -hmm. on the service that the person is looking for, you can automate different type of SMS. If he's okay. coming for phone system or for iPhone, you can send him an email, a, a text message that will say, hello, Lior, I understand that you are looking to get a new iPhone right? And then it will continue. So based on the service, you can automate what type of message will be sent. Correct. That's, that's totally right. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Let's right. so, uh, and not only you can run this on leads, actually, because uh, Zoho gives you an option to create a workflow for other entities like deals as well. And I think that's where a lot of sales folks will focus on, you know, to have different deal parameters met. Like if the deal amount is greater than a certain... Uh, certain minimum value, then uh, a different message goes out. While if the deal amount is uh, more than a certain value, a different message goes out, you know, to categorize your customers, you know, you'll probably send a different offer to your enterprise customers. And uh, when you're done with it, you know, let's say, let's say when you're done with your uh, conditions that you want to match for these leads, you can add almost all the fields, including the custom fields that you create in Zoho. The next step that is, that, that is, you have to do is obviously, uh, add something called uh, webhooks because mm -hmm. webhooks allow you to further take an action on that. You know, you can send this information back to just call team and just call team will make sure your text message goes out. Now here is a bit of a setup, but it is again, very easy to understand. You know, uh, when you, when you create a new webhook, you have to just enter the name of, of that webhook, something you remember easily. 
so i probably say you know send uh, text to newly added leads right something i can remember i can see in my workflows because workflows over the time can get very complex in nature you know it can be a whole web of things you will be doing then you have to add a url select post here and just just a second the url will always be the same url right correct correct this url will okay. be same you know we have a help guide which kind of list down the url as well so you don't have to remember it just quickly go to our or just keep this help guide in one of your tabs and keep following the steps uh, so let's say this url you add here uh, the next step that you need to do is uh, sorry i think i missed that yeah yeah the next step you need to do is to select your leads phone number like which field has the phone number to which the text will be sent this is your entity phone number like if it's a deal then the then the custom field should carry the phone number if it's lead then usually it is found in the default field which zoho provides called phone or mobile right you you do you want to text them on their mobile or their phone mm hmm and make this parameter call this parameter as two two because you are sending it to a phone number to so call it two as a parameter and use any field which carries the phone number the next that you have to add is a user defined parameter called body it's very easy to add parameters by the way you can always add parameters i can start a fresh as well and i can show you how easy it is but you have to just type body and then type the actual text message you want to send out to this lead the best part is you can actually uh, customize this template as i said you know if in case i want to use any lead parameter for example i am telling the lead that you know i'm probably selling home jabs right i'm probably vaccinating people at home so i can probably say you know this is available at this address right if i have the address field or i can probably use any other um, let's say company as a property because every lead in zoho has a company so i can use the hash method to actually you know add more custom fields here okay now right. just just let's let's do one thing uh probably half of the people that seeing the video are totally lost right now because a webbook might be intimidating so let's create one together and we'll show how simple it's create a webbook because the name webbook connects in our, in our brain to programming and complexity which is very very simple so let's yeah that let's is. do that let's create a new one and let's go Perfect. to the webbook yeah yep right. and let's I'll create a new one. one that's right right so the first part on the top will be any name that you like to have it doesn't matter if you call it mickey mouse send sms it doesn't matter it's something that you will recognize what you're doing here so it needs to be some kind of a meaningful name but it's absolutely Got for it. you the mm -hmm. notify url will be a static you a static url that will always be in any time that you want to send sms using just call and that's just a copy paste so you do not need to have any type of knowledge in programming to copy paste agree right correct so that's part Absolutely. number 2 good part number 3 you always select post you don't need right. to care what is post what is get you always select post mm -hmm. okay Correct. next you need to have anything who to send uh what you saying right so uh, this description can be anything again it is not uh, something which uh, it, it is as optional as the name right anything you want to re remember this for just add it in description but the name uh, is not optional thing, by the way the, yeah, the name, name is, is not, not optional, optional. Correct. Name is not optional. It yeah, can be the anything. description is optional. Correct. The description yeah. is totally optional. Yeah. And now, uh, add parameters under the standard. You basically mm -hmm. need to say who is going to receive this message, and you always write two with lower case. That's always Correct. like that. T O lower case, and on the right side you will select which field is going to be used for example if on your lead system you will have phone and mobile or maybe home phone number whatever it is whatever you want to send the sms to you will choose that number now in case that you like to send multiple sms to different numbers also to the phone and also to the mobile you will need to have two webbooks you cannot do right. it from one webbook okay so you will need to do Absolutely. one and then a second one 
Okay, but I don't recommend you to bombard people too much. Absolutely. Okay, so that's the mobile. Next, we have in the user defined format. You will click mm -hmm. on add parameters and then you will write body in lowercase. And on the right side, you will have the message. Now, while you're creating the message, you can have the number sign, the shift three on your keyboard. And okay. then that will populate some variables from your leads record. And if you want to say A, send it, for example. So it will be A, number sign, and then the first name. And that it will populate. I see you have some problems to populate there. Right. Just yeah, let's try again. Off. Yeah, that's right. right. So when you have the number sign, you just need to select from the list. And there you go. So you can have an entire message. For example, if we talked about before, you're interested in service name, you can populate the service name from the lead. So the message is always the same message, but it will now be more specific for the person who is receiving the SMS. Correct. Okay, what's next? Right, so there are only two parameters left. Uh, one is from, like which just call number this message will go out from. So obviously when you are using just call, you may have more than one phone number, which represent different geographical areas or different uh, lead groups, or maybe you are running an ad in different regions. So you have different phone numbers for different regions, mm -hmm. right? So next step that you need to do is copy your phone number, but that phone number should be in a E164 format. That is uh, to simply put this, you know, let's not complicate it. It should be as simple as your phone number with country code. So I'm going to copy this phone number from here. So any if your just call number will come from here. You go to back to this and just paste it and remove any special characters that you have and just add the country code in front. So this is a US based phone number that I have here. Mm -hmm. So I'll just use 1928-589-5252. And that one will be the, the area code for the US. Correct. One is the area code for the US. Mm -hmm. There is uh, now, this is what you need to do, but there is one more parameter which helps us identify you as a just call user, and that is secret. Again, all small secret. Mm -hmm. Now, secret is something that will be provided to you by just call team. You know, uh, this feature also says that you need to just contact us and we enable it for your account. It's, it's as instant, you get it under 24 hours. You just need to drop an email on David just call Otayo, and you get your secret because we just verify whether you have integrated your Zoho account or not. We just verify a few things and we give you that secret, right? And uh, that secret will help you send this text message. And the secret um, will be also same thing, copy paste. I copy from correct, here, paste here and done. Correct, yeah. So I have my secret. Uh, let me just copy it from my email. I'll keep it handy. If in case we are recording this, we'll keep it handy. Uh, but I have my secret with me received on an email. Generally, you get this when you contact support via email, but you can also contact us via chat support to get that. Uh, and both the places we provide that. So once you have your secret, which looks like an alphanumeric string, you know, it looks something like this. It is a mix of string and, uh, and yeah, that's it. That's all you need to do. Click on save and associate. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing you need to do. Just click on save and associate after pasting all these things. Click on save. When you go ahead and when you test it, the message will go out. If you want, I can show you right now, you know, like how to do that. Yes, please. Like, so if you click on save, your workflow is ready. It is switched on. It's going to work. If you go ahead and if you create a new lead, that new lead is going to receive your text message because we set the criteria to all the leads that are created. So I'll just copy a phone number of a lead I created and I'll create a new lead here. And uh, let's use name as Mark Smith. I'm just using the same phone number I had below. Let's call it Smith Corporation because I don't know what their company is. And I'll add the mobile number that I copied. Now this mobile number doesn't need to follow a specific format. You know, it can be anything as long as there are 10 digits, as long as it is a phone number, it can have hyphens, brackets, uh, or anything you want. And why I'm saying this because, you know, most of the times uh, people add their leads in Zoho via form, via uh, probably a form that a lead is filling. 
so the lead may not be entering a phone number in a particular format but our systems are capable enough of handling that you know as so long do, as there are 10 digits do you need to have the the country area code or just the area code it's of not the not necessary okay yeah it's not necessary because our systems are smart enough to detect uh, the country belong which this number belongs to based on the right. area code of the of the city correct absolutely now if if everything went right you know if in case you you followed the steps that we have mentioned in our guide or what i just shared you will find that your text message will go out to your lead it will head out to your lead uh, automatically so uh, yeah i have received that as well so i had the two leads with the same name so that's why it is saying the previous name but as you can see i wrote this do you work at this company and the same text message has gone out yes and uh, and that's how you should you know welcome your leads probably run an offer probably have them meet a certain criteria and uh, your text messages will go out and again it can carry the custom fields like we mentioned very good now and last time, time you know we uh, yeah speak go ahead yeah last time that i talked to sandy we talked about maybe importing the incoming and outgoing sms to a module in crm so it will be part of the record and not as an external inbox is it still uh, yeah but Sorry. not not in the notes like really as 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 an independent module let's say we'll call it sms sms messages and then all the incoming and outgoing will be there is it still part of of the roadmap yeah correct it is there already first of all but it's just that uh, everyone can create custom modules you know because this is not a predefined or a or a fixed thing fixed kind of a thing like you can have your own module i can call it text you can call it sms uh, people in france probably call it something else so what mm-hmm. we do is we take some time from our customers to customize our system for that and there is no extra charge for that you know you don't have to pay anything additional for to us for that just, it's just, just that to, just to understand if i am your customer you mm-hmm. will create for me a custom module that will be as part of the system not the notes section a custom Correct. module that will be for incoming and outgoing messages correct absolutely and okay. what we expect you to do is just have like five prerequisite fields in that module which is um, a body of the text message a time a relation module because you know you need to relate it to either a lead or a contact so mm-hmm. zoho has this called something called relation where you can relate two models together so it should have a lead or a contact relationship yep. and this is the third one fourth is a title you know if you want us to send this kind of a title to your module as well like it's an outgoing text message or let's call it direction because a lot of our customers create a drop down called direction where incoming and outgoing is represented mm-hmm. and uh, fifth direction, one probably. is incoming outgoing Correct. absolutely fifth one is more around the delivery state status you know whether this message was delivered or whether it it was only in the sent criteria because a lot of time our customers expect us to deliver text messages but let's say there is a landline on the other end or let's say your your customer is using a phone that is not ready to receive text messages so you get to know that you know your text messages were not delivered so it's time to reach out on email probably because that medium never worked or yes. the number they shared was incorrect so so five prerequisites is what we want uh, you to add in your custom module and to, and just call we'll take some time we'll understand the structure of your module and we'll tell you to optimize it if it is not according to our structure and then we'll push this information as a part of your custom modules uh, by default when you integrate you have the option to either flow it into notes or into activities that's something you get by default like you don't have to even contact us for that so you just you go to your integration it, so wait so the but you can do the incoming and outgoing to the closed activities correct we give you all these options under integration section you have this option to configure as well you can configure where sh- your incoming text messages and where your outgoing text messages should go so just go to workflow settings in in just call mm-hmm. and right now it is selected both for notes right incoming text messages in notes outgoing in notes so just make sure you select anything you want generally what i have seen personally outgoing people prefer using closed activities because you don't need to take an action on that incoming they love to have open activities because it shows up on your zoho dashboard as well when a text arrives 
so when someone texts you back uh, you open your zoho dashboard you see it as an open activity so you have an easy option to reply to them as well without even opening just call for that matter question for you so if there is an incoming message and the incoming message is being sent to the open activities can i run a workflow based on that right you can create a workflow based on activities as well so take for example all you have to do is go to workflow rules and use activity as the module and then look for the title of it you know see if the title contains what we send you know sms sent to or incoming sms from because that's how you can actually catch that phrase right um, yeah because when we when we drop things on zoho like an incoming text message we have a certain phrase that we drop in the activity title so your workflow should actually look out for that your workflow uh, the workflow that you're about to create should first of all work on activities and then secondly it should look for a particular phrase that is the title and for every incoming text message you will be easily able to identify those incoming text messages possibilities are endless thanks to zoho you know they have such a nice way of running workflows on any any possible module here um, i don't think they allow you to run on activities as tasks course. you're looking for tasks tasks yeah so and uh, the next thing you need to do is uh, on the record action when it is created just use conditions you know where the title of or the subject of the task subject yeah contains yeah and it contains uh, the word so you need SMS. to be consistent with your titles the way that you Correct. name those tasks right so we don't change them because we know that a lot of people are dependent on that so it is new sms2 uh, when when we drop a text message it is new sms2 or sms sent to for an outgoing and incoming it is always uh, uh, incoming sms from I see. SMS I see. Sent so it's the name that you provide. Send set, SMS sent to, and then the name of the person and the email. Correct, and the number. We use the number Fantastic. in the, in the subject as well because because there can be two numbers assigned to this person. So you always need to know from which number they replied. Right? Mm-hmm. There can be more than one phone number against uh, a Zoho profile, and uh, with with incoming messages, it is called new SMS from. Right, new. sms from so that should become your uh, criteria like new sms from now you will be able to intercept any incoming text message and moreover you can add more conditions like you let's say if in case your message always asks for a question which people can either reply in yes or no then it is always good to add another condition which says if the body contains yes right uh, if the if the description of the activity is a description of uh, so one second where where the the message itself will be which field right so that uh, yeah that will be inside uh, let me just uh, let me just kind of go through it i don't think that in tasks you have uh, access to this field i don't think that you have access to the description in the conditions correct i even uh, let let me just uh, go ahead and you know text someone and have a new incoming activity created i'll text back you know i'll text that number back right now sure i'm just going to i'm just going to go ahead and make sure that i'm using open activities i have that phone with me right now so i'll just text back right so i've replied in yes i've replied just yes as an incoming text message Mhm and uh, if i go to sms section i should have received it already i got a i got a notification though but it's on the other screen so i got a notification that i have an incoming text message from just call mhm uh, so just call does provide you know kind of incoming text notifications if you will but go to this- the sms to the uh, zo crm we mm-hmm. can check what was received in the tasks in the task section for this specific record correct it takes about a minute or two for us to push that information into zoho so i'll just wait for that uh, that little while okay because it may take around a minute or two for us to log that back so this is how the open activity is get dropped right um, it is an open activity it is a task and if i open it uh,
Yeah, so it, under the description, I have the reply from the customer. So under the description field or the description information, I have on which just call number it arrived, and I have the body of the text message as well because yes was sent from the customer. So if I go back to the setup page, I'll see if I can pull out the description here because description contains. the text message no i think don't have the description allowed. field in the in the in in, in this uh, case mm -hmm. you won't be able to run it on the description only on the subject correct yeah that's that's fine but uh, you know if in case you want to create a custom field and if uh, zoho gets zoho allows you to use a custom field here we can push the contents in a custom field as well because that's something we have done for some of our customers There, there are two different uh, types of a uh, multi-line in Zo. One is a small and one is large. The large field, which you can contain, I think sixty thousand, sixty-four thousand characters, uh, it's not being used in uh, automation because it's just uh, too, too, too big. But uh, if you create a custom field that is regular multi-line, you will be able to use it in the in the in the uh, criteria. Well, You can create one that name SMS response. Mm -hmm. Correct, makes sense. Uh, there's one more thing we can do. You know, we are exploring that possibility. We have enabled this for few of our customers. We also tag contacts uh, as and when a text message arrives. So this is one of the possibilities. Obviously, doesn't contain uh, the actual contents of the text message, but uh, but it it do it does allow you to get notified at least that you have received something. So you can take an action on that. Very cool. Okay, I think we got a good value today. We, we also got a, a direction of how to create the webbooks, which I think it's relatively simple because no coding is required. And you also showed us how can we receive incoming text messages and how to automate them. And also on a just call, how to find you if it will go to messages or text or uh, notes. So I think, I think it's cool. So very good. So uh, Sandy and uh, uh, Pratik, thank you very much for showing us today how to do it. I really appreciate it. And I think uh, you have a very cool product. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. Bye-bye.